Hi there guys, this is Reaper106. Uh, today I want to be talking about the original SWAT Force 8 inch waterproof item number 152001. Um, I'm not going to go over the specs, I'll leave links in the description box below where you guys can buy this boot from OriginalSWAT.com, also known, well, also known as Original Footwear Company, um, dot com, and also where you can buy this boot on Amazon too. Um, I will be talking about the pros and cons of this boot. Um, I know what I said in my original my original SWAT question mark video about this boot. Well, to me, I want to go more in depth about this boot. Um, first off, this is the original SWAT Force eight inch waterproof. Item number is fifteen two thousand and one. Um. Nylon tongue, 100% nylon tongue, uh, waterproof membrane, HydroGuard waterproof membrane. Um, I'm going to go with the cons first. Um, you know, because, you know, I believe it's best to get the bad news out of the way than get the good news going. Um, that, that's my opinion. Um, anyway, the first con is 8 inch. No, no, that's not the con. The pro is it's an 8 inch boot. The con is, is the way they have the 8 inch. This is the 8 inch boot. I don't like the slant. I don't like it. 8 inch, awesome. But if you have an 8 inch with this slant, have a pull tab on it, please. Because, you know, trying to take out your boot and put it on, you know, trying to put on your boot, you might as well have a pull tab. This has no tab back here where you can pull up on your boot and you know, pull, pull tap, you know, pull your boot on, um, I don't like that, um, one con, out of the way, the other con is the nylon, and this is the design, okay, so that's two, I'm gonna go with the first one, the nylon, everyone knows, nylon is waterproof, you know, with the water, t with the water repellent additive, you know, like the one I got here, Scotch Guard waterproof repellent, but this one's for suede, um, not for nylon, uh, anyway, water repellent. Um, how long will this waterproof hydroguard waterproof membrane with the nylon be waterproof? How long? Because I've had these boots since April 2nd, 2018. Brand new out of the box. Still OEM. I have done nothing to this boot at all. 100%. Guaranteed. Um, how long will this nylon be waterproof? Because, you know, after, you know, all those other boots you buy at Walmart or Shopco or Kmart or outlet stores or whatever you know they got nylon saying it's waterproof how you know we all know that those boots do not last long to be waterproof because you know maybe a year or or a foot or longer than a year you got to buy a water repellent and spray on the nylon to be waterproof repellent that's why i don't like the nylon on this boot because i don't know how long this nylon will last so that's still a continuing test for me to test out this nylon on its waterproof uh, capability and how long it will last. Um, the second con is is the design. Um, you know, since I don't like the line on, why not they just have a complete leather upper? You know, complete leather boot. You know, make it that makes it last. You know, but then again, I guess you do gotta have your flex points and stuff like that. Um, right here, if you guys can see this perfectly. Uh, right, right in this area, it kills my ankles. If you, you know, if you guys tie your boots really tight, like with your GI mil spec boots with the speed laces, and you guys tie those fuckers really tight, um, is that um, you do that with these boots. This area, it kills your ankles. It really does. Whether whether you're wearing a summer weight or winter weight socks. It, it kills your ankles, you know. If you tie it up here, it's fine, really tight and all. You, you'll get blisters, but that they go away because, you know, it's brand new boot and all that stuff. Um, I wear a size 10, if you guys are wondering. I'm 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 196 pounds, maybe the last I haven't weighed myself in a long time. I'm starting to lose weight after a walk and all this stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, that... That hurts my ankles. I've already contacted original SWAT. I sent them a link to my original video, which I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, 
on which is original SWAT question mark. I'll leave a link in the description box to that video below. You guys can go check out that video. This is part two or, or recap part two. But on that, that's the one con, two con, nine on, three con, the design. Um, fourth con is the is is the toe. You know, it's all nice and smooth, polished leather and all. Um, I don't like that because you know if you guys are working, you know if you guys are working around wooden pallets or plastic pallets or yeah. Uh, or pallets um you know if there's not a pallet jack or there's not a forklift operator or if your back hurts and you can't bend down so you use your toe to stick inside the pallet jack and you start moving it around to where you need to in an instant or to help you out a little bit or you know uh, if you start scuffing up the toe like I have here as you guys can see uh, once you get like a small pinhole in, in you know in the boot this boot will no longer be waterproof 100% guarantee because I had that problem with my original swap Metro 9 inch waterproof was waterproof boot as you guys can see right there that's for moving pallets and stuff like that and walking around wooden crates and all um but yeah, once this gets a small pin on this boot will no longer be waterproof, which is sad because I'll talk about that in the in the pros coming up. We're still on the cons. Uh, stay with me. I know I'm boring because I only have eight subscribers. I know I'm ugly. I have no idea why I just put that in there. That's a dating video advice right there. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, back to the boot. Um. Also, I don't like how it's smooth. I wish they would have done a tough toe type of material texture, a rough texture on the boot, like they did back here on the on the back of the of the boot. Notice how like rough texture and how like it's smooth right here, but it's like all rough texture. I wish they would have done that on the on the on the on the on the toe of the boot. That would have been nice. Okay, I believe that is all the cons. Oh yeah, um, another detail about this boot: this boat has an anti mic anti my has a bacteria rejection has an antibacteria protection that's what I was looking for uh, so far that is true after three days um, these are the insoles I don't know why they're green I don't know why they have holes in them but I believe the holes in them are so that they can breathe I don't know why they're green the ones in my metros the ones you got the one I just showed you has yellow instead of green I don't know why don't ask me why the insoles are different colors I don't know ask the company give them a call ask them why these insoles are different colors I don't know I don't care um but these have holes in it so they'll breathe and all this stuff you know it, it, it's a good OEM insole you know until you start to wear it out then you know buy new ones or whatnot um yes you guys should saw me smell my own insole um these are starting to hold in my sweat and I'm wearing summer weight socks. Uh, summer weight socks. Uh, these are start to hold in my sweat, my moisture. Even my boot smells really bad. Um, this is, I've had these boots in April 2nd, 2018. I've only, I really can't remember how much I've worn these. I've worn these, I've switched these out with my other boots. Um, but anyway, um, these are starting holding my uh, sweat and all. Like when I would actually take off my uh, my socks, like if you were to actually to uh, string it out, you could actually make my sweat come out of it. Like if you guys want to know how bad this holds in my uh, sweat and all this stuff, like my Metro does in my previous video, I already talked about it. Um, this is holding in my sweat now too as well. Um, it's like well, I take off my sock and I can actually peel off my skin off of my foot I'm not sure that's normal so I'm going to also link this video to original SWAT I'm going to contact my uh, the guy I talked to at original SWAT great great guy to deal with uh, he so far he's been more helpful than than any of the other customer service representatives I only go to one guy and that's it I'm not going to mention his name but if you see this video you're doing an awesome job you really do help me out um, so far every time I'm call original SWAT, you'll be the guy I'll talk to on any questions I have. Um, anyway, the pro about this boot, it's waterproof, it is 100% waterproof, I tested it out, I've gotten the nylon tongue wrap, 
I don't know how long that's going to last though, but so far it's holding up still good. Um, also, another con is I forgot to mention. If you guys can see this right there, uh, it, it, it's starting to separate at the sole and the upper. Um, I haven't had any water drainage going in there yet. So, but anyway, um, yeah, like I'm sticking my hand in here right now, and I can actually feel my own sweat. And that does smell like my feet. Um, but yeah, so far it's airing out nice and slowly, which sucks. Um, also, the pro is the tread. You know, first of all, if you guys are like in the tactical world, and you guys work in a food factory, or you know, you know, you guys are in high school or college or whatever, and you guys are in the tactical world, you know, gotta have knives, guns, just the tactical sheepdog, just tactical, tactical. Um, and you guys work in a restaurant, busboy, dishwasher, cook, you know, anything to do with the food factory, food area jobs, warehouse, public food, restaurants, stuff like that. And you guys have painted floors with or without uh, slip resistant textures in the painted floors in your food facility. Um, and you guys don't want to buy money for those uh for those uh, boots or shoes that are slip resistant, specifically made for the shoe industry, for the food industry, not shoe industry, for the food industry, and you guys still want to look tactical, I highly recommend you guys get the original SWAT Force 8 inch waterproof item number 15 2001. Original SWAT does not have this listed as a uh, food item. Uh, shoe boot for the food industry but it is i work in the food industry i have 100 percent tested this boot and i believe that this boot is 100 percent made for the food industry if you guys take this into a food industry environment you guys will not be disappointed at all i was in the beginning because kind of skeptical you know um but anyway this is a great boot for the food industry um Look at this tread. It is like a food industry tread. Look how deep those uh those um uh, those water channels are. That's pretty deep. You know. But anyway, this is the Force 8 inch waterproof item number 15 2001. This tread is pretty dang good if you ask me. You know, it's like it's like an actual food restaurant tread style you know a lot of texture you know this came out you know at that shot show where that guy said this is a highly slip resistant shoe i'm going to have to agree with him this is a hundred percent slip resistant for a food industry um for a food industry environment you know painted floors wet or dry it's really good um you know i've Today I was cleaning out my uh, my area where I was assigned to today. Um, the floors I was on painted floors, no slip texture resistance in the painted floors. It was just completely painted floors, and I had these on. Um, I spray out I spray out the tread, you know, because I don't want to get it all clogged up and stuff like that. Because you have boots that get clogged up. Um, the slip resistant starts to go down because it's all clogged up. But they do have boots that are clogged. Uh, anti-clog resistant so that's good if you if you guys have uh, food industry boots that are anti-clog boots get those I'm actually looking to get some myself but these ones are anti-clog I don't know but I spray these out every chance I get because you know take care of your boots and they'll take care of you um but anyway the water is really wet like maybe about an inch or less of water it was just like a puddle like a huge puddle of water um and you know, like my hand would be the floor, and you know I'm like purposely trying to slip, and you know it's like nothing. And I'm 196 pounds or less, and so um, in other boots I've slipped, but in this boot with this tread, I did not even slip at all. Even going heel toe or you know toe to heel, you know if you you know if you really scared and whatnot, heel toe, toe heel, the way you walk. You know, but you know, I'm like, I wasn't even slipping at all today on water, which also was mixed in with uh, glaze for uh, for a Cinnabon, 
glaze. Um, uh, a cinnamon roll glaze. Um, it was mixed in with water, so a little bit of grease oil was mixed in with the water compound on the floor. And yet, my boot would not even slip at all. So, I back these boots 100%. Reaper 106 guarantees the original SWAT Force 8 inch waterproof. Item number 15 2001 to be the food industry tactical boot. You know, because. You know, I really do believe in the tactical world, and I'm really happy original SWAT came out with these. I love them. I've already talked to them about having them change the designs because I don't like this. I don't like the nylon because how long will that last to be waterproof? I don't like this crappy ass design. I don't like how the tongue is nylon, but you know, um, I don't like the toe because you know it's getting scuffed up easy, and once you get a small pinhole, it's no longer going to be waterproof. It's no longer going to be bloodborne pathogen resistant in case you get blood, a lot of blood, or you walking through blood or whatever. Um, but on that, mostly when you're buying this boot, it's 99 bucks, 100 bucks for the for the Force 8 inch waterproof 15 2001 item number. Or it may have gone down, I don't know. I'll leave links in the description box where you blow where you can buy this boot on originalfootwell.com or uh, also on Amazon too. Um, mostly when you're buying this boot, um, you're getting it because of the tread. The tread is fantastic. I really do like original SWAT, and I'm going to send this video to them. You guys did an awesome job on this boot. I just wish you guys would change this. Maybe the maybe the nylon. I'm still testing this out myself since I work in the food industry. This design and and the smooth toe. I wish you guys would have like this rough texture on the toe, you know. But on that, this is the Force 8 inch waterproof original SWAT 15 2001 item number. If you guys like this video, please go like. If you guys dislike this video, dislike. If you guys would like to subscribe, please subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. This is Reaper 106 doing a 100% review on the Force 8 inch waterproof. 15 2001 item number. I love this boot. I love the tread. It is a food industry tactical boot. You guys need to get it. You guys really do. And that this is Reaper 106 signing off. You guys have a wonderful morning. I got to get to bed. I got to go back to the food industry job site. On that, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, have fun, be safe, and always be prepared. Thank you guys. Bye bye.